while many CD staffers were slurping up snails and cold soup at the Paris Auto Show, I was in the Lone Star State scarfing down barbecue with fried jello chasers and driving heavy-duty pickups, on the occasion of the Texas State Fair. It's truck country, approximately one out of every six full-size pickups currently sold in the U.S. calls Texas home. And it was our first opportunity for a stint, albeit a short one, behind the wheel of the 2017 Chevrolet Silverado heavy-duty pickup equipped with the significantly revised and more powerful Duramax 6.6-liter .6 turbocharged diesel V8. Rated at 445 horsepower and 910 pounds to foot of torque, the revamped Duramax adds 48 horsepower and 145 pounds to foot to the numbers produced by last year's engine. Critically, to Chevrolet's marketing department, anyway, those numbers put the engine in league with Ford's 6.7-liter power stroke turbo diesel, currently 440 horsepower, 925 pounds to foot, and Rams come in 6.7-liter and line 6 turbo diesel, currently 385 horsepower, 900 pounds to foot and the 3,500 with the iron transmission. As with all claims of pickup superiority, those numbers are subject to change any minute. And no, there aren't any EPA fuel economy figures, since these vehicles exceed the 8,500 pound GBWR ceiling of EPA ratings. The strong, solid type. Our drive was on a closed course at Texas Motor Speedway, with seat time divided into two segments, lapping the oval in a 3,500 crew cab dually, and a two-lap sprint through a short autocross circuit in a crew cab C71 2,500 model. In both instances, the single, undeniable first impression was the distinct lack of noise produced by the revised Duramax. The previous engine, while not necessarily louder than its competitors, exhibited an instantly identifiable diesel clatter that was of a higher pitched, more brittle nature than that of the Cummins in the Power Stroke. While key noise abatement features include sound dampening rocker covers and a full length, two piece stamped aluminum slash steel oil pan and front cover, it's likely that the fresh internals also contribute to the diminished clatter. Nearly every internal component has been modified or upgraded in a quest for greater refinement and power, save for the 90-degree layout of the V8, the 103.0mm bore, the 99.0mm stroke, and the basic architecture of the valve train and its associated gear drive. The new side of the parts ledger includes the crankshaft, cylinder heads, pistons, wrist pins, connecting rods electronically controlled turbocharger and actuator, oil cooler, fuel system, and house developed electronic controls, glow plugs, exhaust gas recirculation valve, and the exhaust system. More than just a parts swap, the re-engineering was a comprehensive program that yielded not only a quieter, more powerful engine but one with enhanced exhaust braking capability and lower oxides of nitrogen and non-methane hydrocarbon emissions, the latter by a claim 35%. Additional improvements cited by Chevrolet include increased capacity for the diesel exhaust fluid tank, a stronger cast iron engine block, and an air induction hood scoop that helps maintain cooler engine temperatures under load. Even the six-speed Allison automatic transmission was upgraded with an improved to board converter, which also permits a lockup function when appropriate. Forced to pick four stato technologies offered in the new Duramax, we'd go with the stronger cast aluminum pistons that incorporate a remelded combustion bore rim for improved thermal fatigue properties, the double-layer water jackets and the aluminum cylinder heads that allow more strength and more consistent flow, the closed-loop, microprocessor-controlled glow plugs for faster starts in cold weather, and finally the Venturi oil separator system that diverts the small stream of pressure from the turbocharger, which is then used to separate and collect oil in blow-by gases. And down the straight. To see how the laundry list of upgrades translates to the real world, we hop into a Silverado 3500HD crew cab dually towing a 10,000 pound trailer and headed out onto the lower apron of the Texas Motor Speedway's oval. With the truck in tow mode with its exhaust brake activated, we pinned the accelerator, which, after taking a moment for the truck to get on boil, resulted in spinning all four rear tires. Remember. 
This is with a 10,000 pound trailer connected to the standard 2.0 inch hitch. Cleverly, the software permitted just enough wheel spin to prevent the engine from coming off boost before stepping in and gently letting it hook up. There was no wiggle at the steering wheel or sideways movement of the vehicle, just solid forward motion. Letting off the accelerator at around 70 miles per hour revealed slightly more aggressive exhaust braking, and there was little need to use the brake pedal before entering the corner. Accelerating from moderate speeds, as one would when passing, was trauma free, although the accelerator pedal travel is definitely long. And as quiet as the truck sounds from the outside, it's even quieter in the driver's seat, the telltale diesel rattle is all but non-existent. Next we drove the Silverado 2500HDZ71 Duramax with single rear wheels on a makeshift auto cross course in the center of the oval, which was a strange and wonderful experience. Even with the dramatically improved to work of the new diesel acting as our willing partner, it was still a game of momentum. The point, obviously, was to keep the rear end and back, following the trail blazed by the front tires. General Motors stability and traction control systems are pretty adept, so we never experienced any moments of real leniency, but the electronics did let things get a little loose before stepping in. This truck certainly can handle more dynamically than most drivers will last of a three-quarter ton crew cab pickup. Putting it in the box at the end of the autocross was a cinch for the well-calibrated brakes, despite the inner feeling pedal. That's as much as we could pack into our brief first encounter with the new Duramax. Know that we'll have a full report on the 2017 Silverado HD, and its GMC Sierra sibling, as soon as we can strap our test equipment to the new trucks. But our initial impressions of the turbocharged 6.6-liter Duramax V8 are that it's a quiet and refined technical tour de force. As a side note, make sure to ride the Tiki World before sampling the fried stick of butter, a traditional state fair of Texas delicacy, or it'll have your gut misfiring like one of those GM 5.7-liter diesels from the 70s. Tease.